Feed Me Light is a simple light manipulating puzzle game. It was made in a month and it is my first game on Godot. Hi, I am Satan Hazard and welcome to Kali Canvas Studios. I wanted to work on something very simple and straightforward just to learn the ropes of the engine. I started thinking about lasers. What if there were lasers that produce lights of different colors? These colors can be recolored and redirected using multiple objects. And the goal of the game would be simply to lead the correct colored light to the correct colored door. I started with programmer art and coded some of the core functionalities such as drag, drop and rotate. I wrote an abstract function named place lights. It takes two parameters, color and direction, and then as the name implies, places the relevant lights according to those parameters. To create different behaviors for different objects, I simply extend this function, change the trigger condition and add a few more lines of code. Let's say for example, if the object is a laser, this function is triggered as soon as the game starts. The color parameter will be same as the object's color and the direction parameter will be same as the object's facing direction. On the other hand, if we are dealing with filters, this function is triggered as soon as light reaches the object. The color will again be same as the object's color, but the direction will be same as the incoming light's direction. At this point I started sharing screenshots of the game with a few friends, and I realized no one but me actually understood what was happening. I wanted the game to be playtested, but a graphical overhaul was necessary first. A bird's eye perspective felt right for the game. I experimented with creating guns, lasers and even turrets, but wasn't happy with any of them. I wanted mirrors to reflect lights in different directions, but could not figure out how to draw mirrors from a bird's eye view. Eventually I just decided to create abstract art that could also be super intuitive, and hence lasers turned into generic light sources. I gave it an obvious direction and a barrel-like mouth for the lights to come out of. I gave the object a fat belly just to make the rotations feel a lot more natural as if rotating about a pivot. And from this point onward, it was actually very easy to create rest of the objects. All of them have similar visual theming and a similar functionality and the visuals give a hint to what their functionalities could be. I rushed to make 5 levels and had my friends quickly playtest them. They found the game very intuitive and fun. So I opened a powerpoint and started dreaming up more mechanics and even more levels. I tried to work on some polish and readability as well. When an object is being dragged or rotated, the sprite is enlarged slightly for a moment to give this notion of literally picking up an object and bringing it closer to the camera. Some audio feedback and screen shakes can go a long way to inform the players of invalid actions. For the level select screen, I based it on drag and drop as well instead of simple button clicks, just to give it a more of an in-game feel. I tried my best to create levels and put them in such a sequence so that text tutorials were not necessary. I succeeded in most cases and I failed in some cases as well. And finally, I released Feed Me Light. Feed Me Light is made out of 19 levels. The download link can be found in the description below. And a link to my Facebook page can also be found in the description below. Thank you for making it to the end of the video and we shall meet again soon. Adios for now.